0.009 moles of gas follows the hyperbolic trajectory as shown below. What type of process is this? What is the initial temperature and the final temperature? And what is the final volume? So looking at this, we have this curving path. So our volume is changing. It's not staying consistent, but neither in this case is our pressure. So if we write the ideal gas equation, PV equals nRT. So in this case, our number of moles is going to stay constant. R, of course, isn't going to change. And we just talked about how P and V are also changing. So in order for this to work, the only thing that this could be is an isothermal process. So part A is going to be isothermal. Okay, so now for part B, they want to know what is the initial temperature? So we have 0 0.009 moles, which stays constant like we talked about. The initial pressure is 3 atm. Let's convert that to standard units. So we know that 1 atm is 101.3 kilopascals and we know that one kilopascal is equal to a thousand pascals. Atmospheres cancel, kilopascals cancel, left with pascals. So that is going to be 303900 pascals is our initial pressure. Now we need to know the initial volume, which is 100 cubic centimeters. Moving the decimal place over six gives us 0 0.0001 cubic meters. And then R of course is 8.314, so now let's go ahead and solve for temperature. So PV, divide both sides by NR, equals T. So when we plug in the numbers, we get 303,900 pascals times the volume, which is 0 0.0001 cubic meters, and all that by N, which is 0 0.009 moles, times the constant 8.314 joules per mole K. And that gives us an initial temperature of 406.3 Kelvin minus 273. And we have 133 degrees Celsius or rounded 103 or 130 I mean okay so we just talked about up here at the top here that this is an isothermal process so we just figured out that the initial temperature is going to be 130 degrees Celsius but we just talked about that's not going to change so for part C we're done the final temperature for part C is 130 degrees Celsius or whatever you got for your numbers for part B. Okay, so now lastly let's do the volume. So we just figured out the initial and final volumes. We have the number of moles and R isn't changing so we just need to figure out real quick what 1 atm is in Pascals. So 1 atm is 101.3 kPa and 1 kilopascal is a thousand pascals so that gives us 101,300 pascals so now we can plug all of our numbers into the same equation but with a new pressure to solve for volume so PV I guess it's not the same equation, 
and we solve it for volume. So we'll divide both sides for P. So that gives us V is equal to NRT over pressure. Let's plug in the numbers. We have 0 0.009 moles times R is 8.314 joules per mole K times our temperature we just solve for and use the Kelvin version so we'll use 406 Kelvin now we'll divide that by the pressure which we just dissolved for dissolved <laughs> decided is 101 300 Pascals and so our final volume for part D will give you straight out of the calculator 0 0.000295 cubic meters. So now if we go to cubic centimeters, we'll move the decimal place back 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That gives us 297.5 cubic centimeters or 300 cubic centimeters.